From NXT, darlings getting lost in the shuffle after dramatically putting down the face that runs the place, to multi-year projects being completely fumbled after their crowning moment. These are those star-making wrestling moments that ultimately hit a baffling dead end. Gareth here from What Culture Wrestling, and here are 10 breakout wrestling performances that went nowhere. Number 10, Fandango, WrestleMania 29. Catching just about every single soul inside of MetLife Stadium off guard on the night, Fandango toppling Y2J at WrestleMania 29 in what was his debut match on the main roster seemingly created a legitimately over persona overnight. Yet before long, it soon became clear that folks were perhaps a little more engaged with the idea of throwing their hands in the air and dancing along to the ballroom dancer's theme tune than Johnny Curtis himself. Despite playing his part in catapulting the theme song to number 11 in the UK iTunes charts at one point, and clearly inspiring the sort of party atmosphere usually reserved for the faces of this balmy wrestling world, Dango continued fighting the bad fight and soon wound up being dispatched by Le Champion a few weeks later at Extreme Rules. Then, in a cruel twist of fate, instead of strapping up the hip-shaking villain with the IC title soon after, a concussion resulted in Fandango being pulled from television. Vince McMahon's one-time pet project never really found a way to rediscover his musical mojo in the years that followed. Number 9. Kevin Owens Elimination Chamber 2015 It finally feels as though WWE are now following through on the violent prize fighter that first burst onto the scene back in 2015, and made a jaw-dropping example of none other than John Bloody Cena. In a rare case of Triple H and his father-in-law somehow singing from the same hymn sheet long enough to make an incoming NXT sensation feel like a star, actually capable of holding their own with the main roster's finest, Kevin Owens bullied the face that runs the place on night one. This dominant attack on the then United States champion on a May edition of Raw wasn't merely a one and done though, with KO doing precisely that at Elimination Chamber a few weeks later, conquering the top guy in the company clean in a refreshingly bold bout of booking. But then, trite business as usual resumed. Cena won the overall feud with the supremely gifted newcomer, Owens was shuffled down the card, and then somehow became even more of an afterthought upon finally winning the Universal Championship a year later. KO finally looks set for the treatment a character this compelling and distinct has always deserved, and hopefully a much more gripping run with the top strap in the not-too-distant future too. Number 8. Shayna Baszler Elimination Chamber 2020 It once felt as though the frightening aura of the one-time all-conquering NXT Women's Champion had been damaged beyond repair following on from a hopeful and savage start. Hot on the heels of literally feasting on Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch on her first night in February 2020, Baszler set her main roster sights on the Elimination Chamber and a shot at the man's title at WrestleMania 36. And in a piece of inspired work that was as inevitable as it was deliciously shocking, Baszler absolutely tore through the field comprised of the likes of Natalia, Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, and Sarah Logan before finally seeing off Asuka to take the stunning W. But then Vince McMahon got equally inevitable but far more frustrating cold feet come the show of shows, with Lynch overcoming the Queen of Spades and Baszler soon being told to dial back what made her such an exciting prospect in the first place her no-nonsense grappling prowess and maliciousness. Here's to a future where Baszler is finally free to bully and brutalize her colleagues without the fear of being asked to redo an entire match by her nutty boss. Number 7. Thunder Rosa Dynamite St. Patrick's Day Slam 2022 There's little arguing with the fact that Thunder Rosa's emotional ascent to the top of AEW's Women's World Championship mountain made for one of the most electric adopted hometown victories the promotion has had the honor of housing to date. But far from establishing La Mera Mera as a performance, former capable of matching the usurped former champ Britt Baker in terms of all-round star power and popularity, Rose's time in the championship spotlight has delivered more missteps and controversy than it has euphoric occurrences. From reports of Rosa sandbagging her way through contests, to backstage drama involving the likes of Baker and Jamie Hayter overshadowing much of the underwhelming action the three have been at the center of on AEW programming. What could have been the birth of a much-needed new all-round star in the women's division has soon devolved into little more than a particularly toxic spell for the flailing corner of the All Elite product. And with Rosa now out for the foreseeable due to injury, and Tony Storm stepping up to the interim plate in her stead, it looks as though Tony Khan is all but ready to pull the plug on this high-profile star-making experiment's gone disastrously wrong. 
Number 6. Finn Balor, SummerSlam 2016 Coupled with the visual of the Prince being brought in as a first-round option for Monday Night Raw during the 2016 iteration of the draft, the fact Finn Balor managed to run through the likes of Cesaro, Rusev, Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns, en route to a showdown with Seth Rollins over the newly crafted Universal Championship at SummerSlam, made him feel like a legit big deal and then some. And the Demon King only went and won the bloody thing at the biggest party of the summer too, forming half of a match only bettered by John Cena and AJ Styles' epic clash of styles elsewhere on the card that night. Only said winning over of a crowd that had grown their way through the early stages, thanks to the garish belt's initial reveal, ultimately involved Balor having to battle through a serious shoulder injury, one that would force him to relinquish the strap and much of his momentum in the process. Things have never been quite the same for Balor ever since, with McMahon clearly losing faith in the Irish icon. But as with Owens and Baszler, there's every chance Papa H could find a way to once again crown his two-time NXT prince and repair years of main roster damage now he's at the creative wheel. Number 5. Wardlow – Double or Nothing 2022 it may be a little unfair to class Wardlow's run post-MJF massacring at Double or Nothing 2022 as one that has ultimately gone nowhere, what with the TNT champion still only a few months removed from his career-making win over the salt of the earth. But there's no denying that the rising powerhouse's once radiant star has dimmed somewhat in the time that has followed Maxwell's infamous Double or Nothing weekend. On the back of the explosive one-time employer of Wardlow massively overshadowing his jaw-dropping squashing at the hands of his former bodyguard, with his real-life antics and eventual dynamite pipe bomb that would follow, Wardlow's world hasn't quite been what many would have hoped. His aforementioned seizing of the TNT Championship felt like an organic and well-received next step. But it was soon laughably brushed to the side in a bid to pull the spotlight back onto the already established main eventers and far hotter programs in the works elsewhere. And Wardlow shoehorning into a trios bout alongside fellow one-time Pinnacle players FTR at All Out 2022 acted as the latest piece of evidence to suggest that the titanic face may be on the verge of becoming yet another star to stumble into obscurity on the back of picking up the once-prized TNT strap. Number 4. Shinsuke Nakamura – Royal Rumble 2018 In truth, Shinsuke Nakamura has actually delivered the goods on the back of a star-making showing under the WWE banner. Jumping all the way back to NXT TakeOver Dallas in 2016, the King of Strong Style announced himself on the black and gold scene with a typically brutal slice of drama opposite Sami Zayn, a performance that paved the way for a stellar run at the top of the developmental brand. However, what followed eventually undid all said stellar work that had preceded Nak's first few steps into main roster waters. After unquestionably taking his place as the undisputed fan favorite in a Royal Rumble 2018 field that boasted everyone from a returning Rey Mysterio to an Iron Man Finn Balor for God's sake, the artist kinshassed his way to the grandest stage and seemed to finally prove that Vinny Mac did actually know how to present highly regarded Japanese stars after all. Fast forward a few months, however, and Nak was now spending more time blasting nads than popping crowds with his hard-hitting arsenal. And as of recording, the former NXT champion hasn't come close to reaching the heights of his Rumble Rampage in the four years that have followed. Number 3. Cesaro – WrestleMania 30 A quick look at how the Swiss Superman is currently being handled in Tony Khan's wrestling-centric promotion tells the story of a freakishly talented in-ring technician with superhuman strength and boatloads of charm. This is a story Vince McMahon arrogantly refused to acknowledge for nearly a decade, because he didn't think Claudio Castagnoli had it, or more specifically, he wasn't a fan of his accent. And that's likely the reason what should have been a career-igniting moment at WrestleMania 30 eventually wound up being nothing more than a hollow badge of honor to be rammed down fans' throats whenever Claudio needed to be presented as a threat to whoever the company really wanted to get behind. The sound that met the now Ring of Honor world champion as he heaved a monstrous big show over the top rope in the first ever Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale had many believing another star had well and truly been born under the bright New Orleans lights that night. In truth though, this was Castagnoli's brief genuine moment in the sun under the WWE banner, with an ill-fated Paul Heyman team-up soon falling flat and resulting in the star being lost in the shuffle just a few months on from power slamming his way into WrestleMania history. Number 2. Mr. Kennedy – WrestleMania 23 Having Mr. Kennedy walk out of Detroit as your new Mr. Money in the Bank at WrestleMania 23 seemed to make all the sense in the world back in 2007. Kennedy could talk the talk, hold his own in between the ropes, and seal his biggest career win to date at that point by Green Bay plunging Hornswoggle all the way to hell from atop a ladder. In short, he had WWE main eventer written all over him. However, a serious tricep injury soon scrapped the last minute plans to strap Kennedy with the World Heavyweight Championship, with Mr. Money in the Bank actually being in line to dethrone the damn Undertaker. Instead, Kennedy dropped the briefcase to Edge before his supposed tear was later 
later diagnosed as being little more than some severe bruising, but the damage had already been done. Kennedy lost all of that mania steam, eventually ate a 30-day suspension for being named in a wellness scandal around the time, and was finally given his marching orders after pissing off his colleagues post-Randy Orton botched backdrop in May 2009. Number 1. Keith Lee, Survivor Series 2019 Keith Lee's main roster coming out party at Survivor Series 2019 was the sort of moment that felt entirely surreal, but right all the same. The Limitless One commanded those inside of the All-State Arena to bask in his glory, utterly dwarfing the supposed big league's main eventers stood opposite him in the likes of Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. Infusing his natural but still out-of-this-world athleticism with an indisputable ring presence, it didn't matter that the big dog won the battle, Lee had already seemingly won the war when it came to convincing Vinnie Mac he was the real damn deal. Yet despite another reminder of his star quality during an exchange with Brock Lesnar at the 2020 Royal Rumble, it soon became evident that McMahon wasn't actually as hot on what Lee uniquely brought to the table as fans had hoped. Clipping the wings that had once allowed him to soar to NXT double champ status upon making his official main roster debut, a bland big man bearcat was eventually born before Lee was mercifully cut loose in November 2021, and allowed to be limitless once more in the land of all elite. And thankfully, he's never looked back. And that's our list. Know of any other breakout wrestling performances that went nowhere? Let us know all about them in the comment section right down below. And do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're at it. Also, if you like this kind of thing, then head on over to whatculture.com and find some more incredible articles just like the one this video you're watching right now is based on. I've been Gareth from What Culture Wrestling. Thank you, as always, for clicking on this lovely video today. Hopefully, I'll see you very, very soon. But in the meantime, be good to yourself. Bye-bye.